Alec coming back to you with another video. We are here with the beautiful 2024 Spark, and I actually have a pretty exciting one for you today. This is a topic that's been discussed a little bit on the Spark groups, and I've personally never done it before. I've always wanted to do it, and I've just never done it. Um, today we're going to be flipping the sponsons on this machine, and we're going to be going and riding it. So you can see that uh, in a little bit of footage here, I'll show you how, but we already have the sponsons flipped, and I will show you what that means, how to do it, side to side, that kind of thing. And uh, so we have the sponsons flipped, and the purpose behind doing this is to make this machine basically do 360s with ease. So with that being said, it's not gonna turn as well. This is strictly for like low speed and having fun. So we're gonna try it out today. Like I said, I'm really excited because I've actually never done it before. It's something I've been wanting to do. And it's all over the forums. If you wanna do 360s, you take the sponsons off or flip them. So we're gonna try it today, and I'm ready to have some fun with it. Go flying right off of it. What do you think? I think that I'm gonna go do my normal trick and the ski's gonna keep going, but I'm gonna go off this way. Like I'm so. just gonna fling right off of it. Right before I started recording, Taylor said, I'm scared. I am scared. I don't know what to expect. And just like I said, I'm afraid that I'm just gonna like go to whip it and it's not gonna be what I expect. I'm gonna go bloop, right over. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's definitely gonna slide quite a bit. So I'm pretty excited for that. And uh, I don't know if Taylor's riding it first or if I am, but we got a GoPro along with us as well. So should be a good, will. you think so? I think so. All right, well, it should be a good time regardless. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the 24 Spark Tricks and we are going to be flipping the sponsons over. And so essentially what that means is we are going to take this guy that has a really nice deep edge with a good ledge on it right here. We're gonna flip it 180 so that this is still facing outwards, the part that says Sea-Doo, but this big lip is gonna be at the top and we're gonna have this thin edge and we will see if this makes a big difference in the slides. So right now I got a T45 on the end of a T handle just to bust these out quick. We're gonna get both sides flipped and I will show you that in just a second. Alrighty guys, we got the sponsons flipped and so we just pulled out the three bolts. This Sea-Doo used to be down here. So all we did was flip it this way. Um, we didn't flip it from left side to right side or anything like that. So you can see right here that we pretty much have zero sponson on the bottom side anymore. We just got this tiny little edge. Otherwise the sponson flip in quotation marks is pretty much a sponson delete, but you still need bolts in the side here so that you don't sink your machine. So this is how you finish it off. Um, with that being said, I just wanna put out 10 seconds worth of information to say that this is not something that you should do if you're an inexperienced rider or if you're riding in a really busy area where you often have to take evasive maneuvers. And also this machine is no longer going to corner at 30, 40, 50, or even lower speeds uh, sharply. It's gonna spin out and that is the purpose of doing this modification is to have fun doing spins and 180s and 360s. But just so you know, this thing is not gonna respond to to evasive maneuvers like your stock machine would. So I would do this at your own risk. I do not encourage everyone to do this. Just make sure that you accept the consequences before you do that. This thing should handle like one of the older jet skis that did not have sponsons. It should be really fun to slide around and uh, I'm pretty excited to go ride it. So let's go take it for a rip. <laughs> Yeah. 
watching this video. Are you subscribed? If you're not, you should be, because you're gonna be missing out on more fun videos just like this one. That spins a lot easier. Jeez. what's going on behind us but someone's lighting up all right i want to show you guys a couple things that i've learned while riding this the first thing is that when you take a big sweeping turn or corner at like 30 miles an hour this thing it will like do a little fishtail on you and uh, the second thing is even when you're going in a straight line say you're going about 30 miles an hour you give the bars just a little bit of shimmy and this thing moves side to side quite a bit so when you flip the sponsons you definitely lose like all of your high speed stability and turning at 30 miles an hour or so it's not as bad and as long as you're under power it still wants to go where you turn it to so we are back from the river slash lake with the spark and uh I'm gonna be honest with you, the sponsor, they're going right back where c had them because uh, I don't like it. I don't, uh, I don't care for the unpredictability. Uh, I don't think that I could do any of my tricks that I normally do any better. I would say the person that this is for that might be interested in this is someone who wants to do a lot of low speed maneuvers and tricks uh, and they want to do it sitting down. I feel like I could do everything that I normally could do with the sponsons in the right normal spot. 
standing up just with this, I could do it sitting down. It definitely moves a little bit more. It's a little bit more playful, but I don't prefer it. And so with that being said, I'm gonna put the sponsons on this thing back where they belong. All right, so now I'm gonna get Taylor's impression of what she thought about this because she had some feelings about it as well. Yeah, so I mean, it was really fun and it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be one, but I definitely wouldn't trust it going like super fast and trying to maneuver through the river just because I don't know it too much yet. But then after I did the reverse sponsons, I jumped back on the green ski where they are normal and it almost felt like I didn't know how to ride a jet ski. It was like catching more and I felt like I was just giving myself whiplash with the tricks that I normally feel like I'm pretty good at on those skis. So going from like one to the other, the flip sponsons feel more fun in the time being, but they definitely come with their disadvantages of just, I mean, it's not super worth it. And then also the unpredictability of like how you can turn and how fast and when. You kind of always feel like you're skating on ice. Yeah. So that's not amazing. But then when you go from this to that, it's a huge jump and like, I went to just do a quick little 180 turn and I felt like I was gonna flip myself off the ski. Yeah, I will say with the sponsons flipped on this one, mm -hmm. it never grabs. Like, so that whiplash that you get every once in a while, it never, it never once did that anymore. So I guess that could be an advantage or a disadvantage for the right person, yeah. so. Alrighty, so that's pretty much gonna be it. I do wanna mention one thing. If you've never owned a Trix before, or if you're a new Trix owner, uh, or a Sea-Doo Spark owner in general, Leave your seats like this when you store the machine as long as you can, if you're inside. Um, leaving them like this, I just dried this whole machine and the footwells were empty. And you can see how much water's coming out of that seat right now. So uh, one thing that these seats do really bad on the sea dew Sparks is they will actually start to mold from the inside and then you start to get a mark on the seat cover. And so something that I learned is that you need to let the seats drain so that they're not just sitting full of water and being stagnant. So this one doesn't look like uh, it wasn't getting road as hard, doesn't have as much water in it, but the 24 over here on the left has uh, draining quite a bit of water. So take that tip with a grain of salt, but I highly recommend it. Save your seat covers and make them so they don't end up getting moldy. But with that being said, really appreciate you guys uh, watching this video and you guys should try out the sponsons. It's not as sketchy as we were kind of figuring it would be, but uh, if you're kind of content with riding the way that you were riding, I wouldn't worry about flipping the sponsons. Uh, maybe if you want to switch it up and try something new, you can give them a shot. But overall, I would say we're both indifferent and they're going to get put back the way that they came from the factory. Mm -hmm. So until we see you guys next time, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make mm -hmm. sure you freaking like, please leave a comment, and at the very minimum, consider subscribing because we got a lot more jet ski videos with the Spark and the Trixes and doing some modifications coming up here in the future. So until we see you guys next time, Peace. Peace.